Good morning, Alexis Love Beauties and Flawless Man. We are going to have a raw and uncut conversation. The number one way that you can raise multiple children, even if you are a single parent or you're in a relationship, is to set aside time to make time for the child the same way you made time for them when they were born. You made sure that everybody wasn't putting their hands on them. No one was talking crazy about your baby. No one was being disrespectful. You were cautious of the environment. Sometimes you even called off of work just to be with your newborn. Make that same time for that child until they are of age to operate time within and for themselves that is the number one secret to a healthy relationship in general we have to set aside time for god we have to set aside time for a healthy relationship we have to set aside time for our children The spiritual law says to train the child in the way they should go. And that way, when they get of age, they will not depart from the Lord. So it is our responsibility to get the wisdom from God on how to properly train this child. So that way they can go off into the Lord when they're an adult and he can take it from there. And we're comfortable because we don't have to be there. We don't have to be afraid of them traveling. We don't have to be afraid of them growing. We don't have to be afraid of them in relationship because we trained them with the wisdom of God. So we gave them off to God. And now we understand that they're going to be safe and I can live my life now as a parent. It's the same thing for a healthy relationship. Someone might feel neglected or abandoned if we're just super busy all the time and we're not making time for each other. And then some people put the children before the relationship. Some people put the relationship before the children. It is possible to have a balanced lifestyle. Even though we're busy, we have to make the time. We have 24 hours in a day. Typically, we're working eight of those hours, which typically, even if you're a business owner, you might work a little bit more, but still the time. We make time to do other things. We have to make time for the things that we say and the people that we say we truly love. The same way we took that child in at night, we kissed the child is the same way we should be tucking that child in at night and kissing that child until they're of age. And this way, when they go into the world, they don't feel like they're neglected or abandoned. So they're seeking for love in all the wrong places. Typically, when we do that, it's because we we're missing that love from our parents It starts at home, all of the behaviors that we're seeing and experiencing. If you didn't have the time to heal and, you know, go through your transformation because you had a child, then that is fine. But we still have to heal. The parents should never be put on a back burner to where now you're just a parent and nothing in your life matter. You still have to make time for yourself also to maintain mental stability. That way you don't get caught up in other things also. Make time for your family, make time for God, make time for your spouse. And that's a balanced relationship is going to be healthy. You have a career, I have a career, but let's look at our schedules and make them to where we set aside time. It's intentional. This is why we get so caught up in relationships and we just go with the flow or we just don't have no flow and we're just doing things. We always caked up because we don't have schedules. We don't have boundaries. Come on, Jesus. It's about boundaries and setting good, healthy schedules. On Monday, we're going to go to the grocery store. Tuesday, we learn about the alphabet. Wednesday, we just go outside and just enjoy nature. Thursday, we're going to learn about cooking. Friday, we're going to learn about cleaning. Saturday, we're just going to have a family fun event where we just go out and do things and interact with other children or other people. Sunday, we give Sunday the rest day for the Lord. So I'm going to teach you how to pray and meditate. And we're going to indulge in the word of God. I'm going to teach you how to read. Even if you are a working parent, there is still time that could be made. That's the number one tip. 
when you have multiple children, you split that up. On Monday, you're working with Jesse. Tuesday, you're working with Kim. Wednesday, you're working with John. Thursday, you're working with Chris. Friday, you're working with Samantha. Saturday, you're working with Abraham. And Sunday, you're working with um, Bethany. We still have to split up the time, even when we have multiple children. And when you have children, don't feel like you can't have a relationship or you can't take care of yourself or do the things that you love to do. And I think that's where parents begin to do like, man, I got to make this big sacrifice. Now I don't have a life. And then it's like they grow the children up quicker. Come on, Jesus. That way they can have a life. And then some parents like to come back and say, well, I sacrificed everything for y'all. Y'all should be grateful. That's not how that should be. You never want to make a child feel like they're a mistake or they're the reason why you didn't follow your dreams. That was personal. There's many women that are pregnant that still follows their dreams with the child or after they have the child. The number one thing is being careful about how you speak and showing that love. Get the healing that you need and try your hardest not to pass anything down to an innocent soul that's seeking you for the wisdom. So on today, I encourage you to just speak to the Lord about children in general. If you're expecting, congratulations. And I say there is self-help books. People say that there's not, but there is. And I believe that number one book is the Bible. Ask the Lord, how can you train your child? Go to Job and learn how to teach them to pray for their own souls. Go to Leviticus and teach them about the food. And then also, if you have children already that have been here for a while, they're adults, and maybe the relationship is not that good, ask the Lord for forgiveness. Ask the Lord, how can I heal this broken relationship? with my child wholeheartedly and don't forget about yourself ask the lord how can you heal from the trauma that you've experienced being a single parent and not having the support that you needed as a child yourself because it's generational if you do not have children and you are planning to have children you have a lot of time to prepare your body prepare your mind prepare your spirit learn more you can definitely learn more. You can do more, especially if you don't have a child right now, but you want children in the future. You have, we, we don't have an excuse. We have a lot of time to heal our trauma, to heal everything, to be the best parents that we can be. A lot of the times parents say, I want you to be better than me. The child can't be better than you if you're not good yourself and they're just going to walk in your footsteps. So Alexa Love Beauties and Flawless Man, I love you. God bless you. Set aside time to have a balanced relationship and lifestyle.